All right, so we have this uh, Mac Mini. Uh, we are going to start uh, doing the upgrade. So let's change the camera so that way you can see everything. So we're going to remove this screw that you see here. You can have this uh, kit. With this kit, you can do almost everything. If you need tools, I am in US. I can send it to you outside of US. Or if you are in US, I'm going to try to leave it in the video description so that way you can buy yourself. So after that, we are going to remove this screw that you see here. And the hard drive should be here. There you go. There you have the old drive. So in order to make some space, we're going to remove this. You could have removed, have done this before, but if you, if you don't know if the guy has a old hard drive or has a SSD, you can do that. Otherwise... We can uh, remove the connector here. So here we have the glue, as you can see here. Lift it up, and then the connector will come out. Also, you can hook it up over there. So this is the drive that the customer has. And now we are going to remove the screws that we have here. As usual, we have to change the, the bit. This is how the hard drive was, so the screws were on, on this side, so now we have to find the new drive that we're going to install here. You can install up to two drives, but in this case we're going to replace it just with this one, uh, which we could. Alright, so we have the drive here, so we're going to take this out, move it from here. We put the date here, I recommend to 13, uh, 13 23, so that way you know when you install it. So if it fails or something like that, and you, you're wondering for the warranty or anything like that, you have everything in writing. So now we can put this on the side and we're going to hook it up uh, like this. You could put a tape here, but uh, I will not because usually it's very difficult that this will unplug by itself. So now, like I mentioned before, we will have to put the screws back here. Now that you hook the, the screws here on this side, so you should stay here. Otherwise, it can it could fall in the second uh, place, where you have to put the the second drive. In this case, we have one drive; the other one is going to be out. So now we can put everything back the way it was. There you go, so you put this uh, this one first here and then the other one is going to fit in place. So now we'll put the screw here. The screw is fine. Now we're going to put this one here, but before we do that, make sure that the connector is in the right place. There we go, it sits uh, flush. Now we are going to put this back in. If you remove the, the rubber uh, seat, you can put it back the way it was, the round part to the top. And then we're going to put this back. There we go. And if you want, you can put this back first or before this. So if you want, you can put this first and then later you can put this. But as you can see, it works either way. So it depends. If you have a lot of practice, you can do it that way. Otherwise, do it whatever works for you. And then the longer screws, as you can see here, goes just here. Alright, 
it is in place, everything is in place. So now we can put everything away. So that we, we can have it for the next repair. And that's it. So now we are going to hook it up. I forgot to add the, the RAM. So main thing, just push it, make sure that it goes the first one and the battery back. The other one on the top, and we should be good. So that's something that you have to do when you pull this out. Now we're going to try to hook this up and connect it to internet, download the app software and the way you go all right so now that we have all the cables keyboard monitor hdmi internet cable power so now we can turn it on and i'm going to show you with the keyboard what you have to push the power button is here on the side so we turn it on we change this uh, we press uh, command an hour so let's change the screen. And now it's starting from internet. And we should be able to do everything that we need. In the other USB port, remember to hook up the trackball or mouse, whatever you want to use. In this case, I want to use the trackball. I like it the most, so if you have an issue with your arm that is hurting a lot or something like that, trackball is the way to go. I'm going to show you now. So this is the trackball. That is amazing. Okay, let's go back. Let's see the screen. Everything is booting up, as you can see. So now we're going to install macOS. Surely it will ask you, us to format the hard drive. So continue here. I don't think so we are going to be successful on this because we have to format the drive, like I said before. So let's see if I can do something from here. Nope, we we'll have to quit. We have to go this utility. And then the drive. Partition. We add one. Apply. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, so we are safe now. Where now we can reinstall it here. We go here, continue, continue, continue on everything. Agree on everything. More agree. Now you will see the, the drive install. And there you go. It's working, so hopefully in one hour or less, everything should be done. But as you can see, it says eight minutes. I never trust the eight minutes or the time remaining that you see here. <laughs> Usually it takes way longer than that. Now click there, continue, continue on everything, don't drop now, user, user, I know I don't want to, I don't know, kind of just forget about that, just go without it, Apple ID, without Apple ID, nope. User, user. Yeah, continue. No registration. Let's see if we can continue without password. Nope. One, two, three. One, two, three. Continue. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's see if we can continue with that. There you go. Later, the customer can change it. It's the time. And we are set. Nice. One, two, three, one, two, three. Continue. Beautiful. Let's remove this. The customer, they will connect this to their 
Let's see if we can update this a little bit more. Or oh, this is the best this computer can do. Nice. All right, that's it for now. So hopefully you have enjoyed this class. If you have any questions, please let me know in the section below. If you want this Mac or something else, I am in US. I send every worldwide. So FedEx, UPS, DHL, whatever you want to use. Or if you are here in US, I'll try to leave you a link in the video description. You can buy it yourself. Thank you. I'll see you next time.